M A Fatuma. Oh, here's a question. If we are out all day at an airport, oh, I already answered her. I answered her already about the airport. Here's another one. Oh, here's another one. Is it haram to get plastic surgery? Here we go. Whenever we use the word haram, this is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. He said the lawful and the unlawful have been clearly defined by Allah. The things that Allah have not mentioned are concessions. And we need to learn to accept the concessions of Allah. What does that mean? That means most things in life are lawful. If I were to take a notebook and write down all the haram things, I probably wouldn't even get more than three pages. Most things in our everyday life are lawful. It, but worship is different. When it comes to actions of worship, everything is haram unless Allah says otherwise. So what did the prophet mean by that? It means that if somebody tells you something is haram, they have to bring the clear evidence. What is clear evidence? Clear evidence is a verse from a law or a verse from the prophet saying that you clearly cannot do something. So she's asking about plastic surgery. Let me hold, share a little history with you guys. During the... During the battle, after the battle of Badr, one of the companions' nose was cut off during the battle of Badr. So the nurses took him to the hospital that was attached to the mosque. And the doctor there and his daughter, they, made, they performed plastic surgery. They made him a new nose out of gold. So they performed plastic surgery and gave him a new nose. So again, if something is haram, there has to be a verse that says something. Again, Allah says there's a, that sickness comes from him, but he never sends a sickness without sending a treatment. For the woman who is born, but her breasts are too small. There's a treatment for that. The treatment is she can have implants to make her breasts larger. For the man who has no nose, the treatment is they can make another nose and attach it to him. So is plastic surgery haram? No. However, is it haram for a person to just have surgeries done just to have them done? That's a different question. If your doctor tells you that you need plastic surgery to reduce your breasts because your breasts are too large and they're causing back problems, then you have breast reduction. If your doctor tells you that you have to have plastic surgery to reattach a finger, you have plastic surgery. If your doctor tells you that because of something that happened to your face, you have to have plastic surgery to correct it, then you have it. If there's a reason for it, a medical reason for it, then it's lawful. But if you're just doing it just to be like the Kardashians, if you're having plastic surgery because you want to be like Cardi B, you want to be like Nicki Minaj, then of course that's something totally different. Does that answer your question? But is plastic surgery haram? No. Plastic surgery is the treatment for what ails a person. Ails a person. Everybody got that? And I gave you the evidence. All right. Next question, 